in an age where depression and anxiety just seems to always be on the rise, I think anything that we can do to make software more creative, to make people more socially engaged, to make music more accessible, like these are the kinds of problems that I want to solve. Hi, I'm Andy VR, and I'm a senior software engineer. In 2013, I opened Unity for the first time following a YouTube tutorial. I sort of realized like, oh, like software can be a creative medium. Once the Oculus Rift came out, I was like, okay, I'm spending all, like I saved up for months. I'm gonna buy this Oculus Rift. I'm gonna become a VR developer and I'm gonna get a job doing VR. It all happened really, really fast. The Oculus Rift came out in April and I was a full-time theme park designer by July. As a technologist working in Unity and Unreal, I've had a, a lot of opportunities to try different things. I started as a professional theme park designer, and then I went into the filmed entertainment industry and was doing motion capture for like pre-green light movies. And now I'm in the music industry doing virtual events. I first heard of Wave uh, during production of Ready Player One. Uh, I had heard that Wave was doing the official VR launch party. It was really cool. And as I was interviewing with the team, I was like, wow, like, these people are so smart. I can learn so much more from them. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to really fill a need in the entertainment industry. So Wave's mission is to unite the world through virtual experiences. Wave first and foremost wants to deliver an experience for an artist that is something completely unique from every other stop on their tour. We want an experience that is authentic to that artist and you know it's socially engaging and allowing people to express themselves fully in this immersive musical virtual world. Once you have the artist and the fans, I think the next thing we care about is, is the community. And this year, Wave has raised about a half million dollars for charity. Everything else is sort of subsidiary to that. In the age of the pandemic, virtual experiences are even more important than they were before. Uh, but they were already successful before. You know, September 2019, Wave did a show with Lindsey Sterling, had 400,000 concurrent viewers. The Fortnite Marshmallow concert had 11 million concurrent viewers. Where in the world can you play for 11 million people? You can be so much more creative with pixels on a screen than you can with your body on a stage. In a digital medium, we have the opportunity to overlay interaction, to do voice chat or text chat, and to take advantage of all these technologies that were built for gaming and create the most social, the most immersive music experience that the world has ever seen. The ability to touch so many people's lives at once through live streaming is such a powerful thing. It's really, you know, becoming the center of entertainment, especially in 2020. While I was interviewing at Wave, the CEO, Adam, asked me what my values were personally. And I told him, I want to empower artists to do the impossible, and I would remove the barrier of entry to creativity. I've been fully empowered to, to live out my own personal values and sort of add that to the company.